Sound check, blood! No, I'm only doing fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> gang, gang. Yeah. Blah. Well, guys, Beers and Bites, episode three. Very laid back, limitly edited. Let's get into it. Okay, first thing, as always, what are we drinking? I'm drinking Jack Daniels, Tennessee Fire, and Coke. Zero, because I'm healthy like that. <laughs> I'm also Jesse? drinking. Are you enjoying? I'm enjoying, yeah. It's the first time I've had it, and um, I like it. Yeah, yeah, it is good. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It's, um, it's Jack Daniels with a touch of um, cinnamon. It's definitely cinnamon in it. Cinnamon. <laughs> cinnamon, like the posh people say. It's a bit of cinnamon. Mikey, what are you drinking? Mate, I'm just using the original Great Northerns. Great mate. Northerns. Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> Don't like a coffee, can I? Nah, Jim Bay McCoke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. And then, that was the drinks part or the beers part. What is the bites part? You first. A uh, bit of pork belly and some wraps with a bit of coleslaw, coleslaw dressing. <laughs> you are dumbing that know. down so hard. Eh? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see how it turns Pork out. Pork belly. Tried it before. In, yeah, but the wraps alone, what oh, are they? Yeah, the, the wraps They're special. Are mid. Yeah. The wraps How'd you come up with the idea? Uh, Uncle Steve O, Annie Renee, he's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, he's got them for me. Yeah. Shout Wait, out, Aiden. Right like Aiden watches, I think. Yeah, Aiden. Aiden! Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. No, that, they are awesome. They're from Second Nav, eh? In Mount Lawley. You just. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did I, did no, I just are, repeat mate. it? Yeah. Did I just repeat it? Now they're just going to be sold out full time. <laughs> yeah, for all you four guys that watch, don't buy them all at once. <laughs> um, for me, guys, this is actually meant to be my dinner tonight, but I think we'll just do a communal cook-up. Just a nice little uh, bash straight scotch fillet. And Dave from Cutting Edge said to try these skewers. Now, I think they're... Um, thinly sliced uh, pork belly skewers so I, I look forward to trying them out so let's get cooking and I've got a couple of questions for these guys so currently get into it let's get in I'm gonna um, how long do you think yours is gonna take all up 15 minutes I don't know. 15 minutes from start to finish okay maybe well, 20, if you I don't know yeah. no, good so, all right if you throw three. yours on now I'm gonna ask you a question while you're while you're cooking while, while you're cooking. doing it so we're out on a tinny trip at the moment. There are uh, two guys here. I mean, you've been on, well, they actually both have a lot of experience in boating, but not tinny trips. Would, would no, you say that's no, correct? I have yep. no experience in tinny yep. trips. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So I've got, I've got a couple of questions. So first question is, um, I'll ask the main question. The main question is like, what's, what do you think? Oh, what are you doing there? So it's a pork belly in pork there? Pork belly, yeah. Beautiful. Put that in there. How's your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beautiful. Crying. Is there onions in there, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> um, the first question is, so for a tinny trip, what do you guys think your beer essentials are? Your beer essential items. I've got a little list of my own, four items, which I have learnt like sort of today from you a little bit, yep. and generally. Yep. Um, maybe to give you a guide, I'll tell you, and then you guys can tell me. So with me, it's like water, hydrolyte, um, Panadol, in case you get a haircut. It's it, it, uh, a headache. <laughs> Fucking haircut. It, it basically revolves around hydration because you're around maybe salt water and stuff like that, but could be different stuff for you guys. What do you think? For, for nah, me, for me the, the packing for this trip was quite easy. Uh, teaming up with Jazz, like he yep. sorts the food out. He's got all the cooking utensils, everything like that. He always, I'll say, what do I bring? He says, just your clothes. And, yeah, I've got it covered. And, and that's it. It's so, like if you're going for dinner at his, eh? It's just that, bring yourselves, that's yeah, it. Yeah, I'll even supply the tinny and the motor for you. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, Shit, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Might so come with you that. on the next trip. But so for me, like you guys are coming out of Forbes camping, however often yep. that you do, you're coming yep. out of Forbes. You've got all your gear. Um, you're having to simplify all your gear and compact it into a tinny. Yes. Whereas for me, I'm just bringing everything that I own, camping gear. Yeah, like, of course. You know, I, yeah. I don't camp as much, so I've got a swag. Um, I've got me pillows and blankets. I've got my clothes, yep. and then a couple lights and things like that. Yes. You need lighting for nighttime, and then that's it. Chuck it yep. in a tinny, and we're ready to go. 
Jazz as well. An esky full of food. Um, did bring yeah, a few Nurofen. Yeah. Um, Which have, then, yeah, worked well, haven't they? Yeah, we haven't needed too much <laughs> else. But, but bags of firewood, obviously. Yeah, 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 far yeah, out. Yeah, essential. Yep. Um, as long yeah, as you can make a fire, cook some food, clothe yourself. I think it's been good. Like yeah, yeah, spot on. Yeah, keeping you warm need, and keeping fed. Yep. Yeah, nice. Don't need okay. Much else. It's interesting to hear the different beer essentials, but mm. go on, Mike. Yeah, so um, basically I've never done this before ever on a Timmy. Mm -hmm. So I, what I did is I grabbed one of my grabbing gear bags yep. and went to the back of my car, pulled the drawers out, and just thought to myself, what do I actually need to take? Yeah, exactly. You were culling stuff that you don't need. Yeah. You took the bare essentials, and what have you found they sort of are if you rattle them off? Yeah, so the number one thing is always water. I always carry a 20 litre jerry can of water. Well, you brought 40 litres, didn't you? Yeah, this I brought 40 litres. And it's worked weekend. out well. Yeah, because I usually go through a lot of water. Yep. When I go camping, and um, yeah, just your fairly essentials like, you know, you, um, so it's got your knife, forks, and uh, just a jet boil for coffees yep. in the morning. What about plates and bowls? So and I grab one, because yep, my camping yep. setup is. In the back of my car, it's for the family. For a know? family, so four of each. Yep. So I kind of grab one out of each bag, kind of thing, and then just thrown it into the big bag. Yep. Um, but yeah, and it's all neatly organised. I think those family beer bags are just tops. Beautiful. Like this sort of can. So, for you, it's organisation. Yeah. It's being organised. Hundred percent. Okay. Beautiful. In one bag, I reckon you can do it mm -hmm. for yourself. Jazz, I'm going to guess yours. Bear essentials are you pack for someone else. <laughs> sort me brother. Actually, mind you, Looked yeah. after my brother and then I'll... I'll mind see. you, he's brought enough food for everyone, for two meals for everyone, as yeah. snacks. I, Go on, mate. Well, actually, you're seasoned as hell on these. What, what are your essentials? Nah, uh, toolkit, camp box, water, um, basically with food, yeah. piss and... That's it. No, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, this thing right yeah. here, the yeah. old um, flat Cook plate. top. Yeah. 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 It's funny how everyone said water. Yeah. Like, that's good. We're half sensible, aren't we? I didn't say water. <laughs> I but, didn't say that at but, all. But yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. um, it's felt like this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> we've had a tinny each. Yeah. What would you change? What mods would you do? What have you missed? Or what have you forgotten? Again, pretty lucky with a, a bloody, a, a, a good <laughs> brother. A good <laughs> brother, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, yeah so, supplied the, Yeah, you yeah. better not. I, I paid Reggio on the tinny and he supplied it, yeah. basically. So, uh, and Breno supplying the motor. Good on you, mate. Cheers, on you, Breno! Cheers, buddy. Um, yeah, Jazz decked it out with a false floor um, yeah. and, and a seat. Um, and yeah, looking over at you two guys, seatless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's yeah, work wonders. My ass, yeah, this weekend. my yeah. ass is taking a pounding this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking sore. <laughs> my ass is really sore. So false floor, you liked? But yeah. I'm saying, what um, would you change to that one? What though? would I change? Um, yeah. For it to not take water on. <laughs> Yeah, it took on a bit of water, but I mean, there was a bucket supplied to get the water out. <laughs> Maybe a better bunk. <laughs> better, yeah. Better bunk. Uh, all part of the fun, though, isn't it? Bloody yeah. scooping oh, water out it. of the thing I as enjoyed. you go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I enjoy. Um, rod holders, mate. You could have put some rod holders on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I had to hold the rod. <laughs> Jesus. That's <laughs> myself. Peasant, yeah, that's usually peasant stuff, that. that is. Yeah. yeah, usually someone holds it for me. <laughs> Mike, go on, mate. Uh, I reckon 100%, man. <laughs> so my tinny's got no floor in it at all. I and, knew that was going to be your first, man. And I think that is the next thing that I will upgrade yep. in that tinny. And yep. then I, I might change the motor. Mm -hmm. You know, to something a bit more newer, but not too new that I won't exactly. do what we did today. We were speaking about that today. Um, if you brought, like Cam, if you're watching this, if you brought your motor here, you would not be happy with me right now. <laughs> you would need you need something that's rugged, that you are willing to beat up. Yep. I think that's a big thing about a tinny trip with us. Yep. <laughs> Thanks again, Breno. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get that back. It's going to be great. The prop's going to be nice and straight. Don't worry about it, mate. Uh, no, but um, you need to be willing to beat your boat up a bit. Exactly. And that's why I wouldn't have a nice new tinny or a nice new engine. 
Yeah, 100%. I want something that's a bit rough around the edges. Yeah, there's no way I would hit those water rapids and that with a new motor. No. Oh, that was wild. I'll throw a bit of that footage in now, guys. It's absolutely yeah. awesome. Jared, it's in your mods. Uh, not to sound like a knobhead, but I don't think I have to do much else. To oh, that good thing, eh? Like, I was gonna say if you brought up maybe so. I feel like yours is a perfect setup yeah. now. Yep. For what it is, mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's got false floor in it. See, that the amount of gear that I fit in the actual tinny itself, I'm surprised. Like I still had eight room. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Got everything. In yeah. Yeah, I probably don't need too much more in there. Yeah, good. We okay. were gonna originally do it together. Double up in that tent and we probably could have actually like with the amount of space that was in there, but it was obviously wouldn't have been as comfortable. No, I mean, yeah. no, no, not at yep. all. Yeah, especially the stuff that we've done this weekend. Like, we just need a bigger motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah. always wanting something <laughs> more in there. It always is that. We could have put the two motors on the one and just <laughs> <laughs> double here, yeah, like a catamaran. <laughs> it just everything sits on there nice mate like everything's got its place yeah. for that floor yep. you know 100%. with mine the esky was always i was slipping or turning and then yep. i had stuff but i just wedged everything in but you don't know it. that stuff until no. you go on a bloody yeah. trip mm. you know you enjoy every minute of it yeah. but you don't know until you've tried it my mod would uh literally be a seat i'd like a good seat i'll put a cushion seat on this time but my other mod would be I didn't actually bring much water. No. Little ten, uh, a little ten-liter jerry of water, beautiful, good to go. Mm. So, next question in a second. I got to check. The only reason I'm cutting this is because I'm checking whether the camera's staying on. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Just had to check that the um, the camera was still on. Sometimes it plays up, but. Um, and get the timing right. I think we've got it really right. That's the main event over there. I'm doing just a couple of warm-ups. Um, next, the next two uh, topics are quite um, touchy, but I, I don't bloody hold back. Even if you need to throw a swear word or whatever in, I'll, I'll, I'll bleep it out. Yeah. Because I'm going to put one in for one of these topics. All right. You know how we've talked this weekend about um, there's one thing getting away with your family getting away camping but me personally I think it's something very special to get away with other blokes um, and have a, a like a, a lads weekend um, me and my wife talk about it a lot you need guy time tell me you, your your thoughts on it like I, I think it's what we've been talking about before that that camera turned yeah. on oh absolutely yeah, no, no. Good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. no. Good and uh, bad. No, go on. Yeah. No, personally, I, I I don't go on too many camping trips. I've got rid of the full drive and haven't yeah haven't been active in the whole camping area as of late. Can I so, can I come in and yeah. say that um, Justin has grown up with full drives, just like you have full full drive, but you know you. Yeah. You sold your FJ Cruiser, had an yep. FJ Cruiser. Yep, life happens and yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. have a, a beautiful little daughter yep. and um, got rid of the full drive and yeah, plans are to, to get all that back on track but the last couple of years just been really quiet on camping and things like that. Um, so for me coming out on this trip, um, massive wake up, well not wake up all but um, realization that I have to do this stuff more often mm. and can I also add that it was your wife yeah that encouraged you to come out yeah oh for sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like we all need our own our own time to yeah not only time with yourself but time with the boys and you, you have these conversations out um, out with guys that you, you wouldn't have um, in your normal day-to-day -day life like yeah this exactly sitting by the fire um, if you're sitting down with a group of mates anywhere else you you have conversations here by the fire that you you wouldn't have at a pub or sitting around home yeah. just yeah it's, it's a different 
um, yeah, different. It is, isn't it? Together, yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. I mean, as bad as it sounds, there's certain things that, quite frankly, you can't talk to your wife about, but you can have an yeah. absolute time talking to your mates about. Yeah. That's the damn truth, and I don't yeah. care who hears yeah, yeah. it, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, you're 100%. Um, and I yeah. think Beck understood that. Yeah. I think she she said, no, yeah. get out, and I, I think and it was real sweet because, of her to do that. Yeah, the girls are exactly the same. Yeah. They, they need that time, and yeah. yeah the, the, exactly. Yeah, all, yeah girls and, need girl time. Yeah, yep. and they're all mothers as well, so, like, mm -hmm. as hectic as it is for us, it's exactly the same yep. for them. They Dead need on. time away. Like, you know, we all need our time to, um, not just for yourself, but to catch up with the boys or the Spot girls up. to um, to chat about stuff that you, you just wouldn't in every day to day life. Exactly. Yeah, you have banter with your wife, absolutely, but there's different banter. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> the different The women banter. are going to be looking at us like we're insane, but every bloke will go, they'll cheers to the TV right now if you <laughs> talk about <laughs> shit with the guys that you would absolutely not mention with the with the women. Yeah, But it's so. good yeah. for you. Yeah. It's yeah. good it for you. Mike, what are your thoughts on it, mate? Um, yeah, so I don't really do many camping trips, just like with the lads and that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always family camping trips, yep. which I absolutely love. Oh, yeah, like, I will put Glad that out there that. that that's what I really look forward to yep. when I fly home. But this trip this weekend... Oh, I'm just glad we were your second choice, though. Yeah, you know? this... Um, your sloppies. I am lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad sense. we were your second choice. Yeah, like. um, I'm lost for words, man. I have just had an absolute yep. awesome weekend. Can I ask you why you... Can I be candid, right? Yeah. And say that, like, you were saying that the best part for you, like, is that you sort of... you And you said this 100% yeah. that you love with your family, but it's yeah. great to just go back to simple. Yes. A chair, yeah, an um, esky, a fire, done. Yeah, so every time I go camping, it's usually, you know, it does take a while to set up and a yeah. while to pack up. Of course, man. And where this trip here, <laughs> I couldn't believe it the other night, I packed up in like five minutes. Yeah, of course. And that was yeah. a really nice feel. And no one no one should be offended by that, but it's, it's yeah. more like, you know, going back to simple yeah. and then you get more time to sort of speak with the lads and oh. the shit we've spoken about oh, this weekend, know. man. <laughs> I think as a, as a bloke as well, and like the provider for your family, everything like that, you, you always want to make your wife and, and your comfortable. kids comfortable. Oh, yeah. So you, yep. you you base your whole trip Spot on. around Spot that, on. and you can be sitting around the fire, and you're never sitting comfortable because yep. you're like, not that you do it intentionally, but you want everyone to be comfortable. Like, Jared does for everyone. That's now. him with boys <laughs> or that's, girls. That's, yeah, that's it just, is. That's just jazz. Um, it is, though. <laughs> you, you want everyone to be comfortable and you can't exactly relax whereas you come on a trip like this four people um you can really relax because you're only reliant you're worrying about yourself exactly yeah uh, spot off well said yeah jazz any any thoughts on that one uh i'm the same as you fellas mate i love going away with the family and yep. as everyone else would know everyone loves like Vic loves coming away the whole camp of course sort of thing. yep any chance to get but yeah you know, she's the same. Yeah, but I feel like the guys that I go out with, where it's just us, um, of course I go camping with Sherry and that, my wife and daughter, separately. Not as much as I'd like to, I'll be honest. Yeah. But I must admit, I reckon everyone here or every dude that I go with, their wife is very understanding that you need lad time. Yeah. Yeah. Like you say that, Jess really said you need to go on this trip and yeah. enjoy it yeah uh, uh, i don't know yeah it, it's a beautiful thing yeah. when your wife looks out for you like yeah. that yeah. you know it's because it they're, really is. they're exactly the same as us you know like need it need to get they, away they need, they need, need to get away they maybe. need it yeah. just as much as we do like they say yeah you Spot need on. a lad's time out but it's it's exactly the same you know it they're, is they're, they're looking after the kids and they need that break as well right. so yeah, their yeah. job is just as well. It's not really their job, but their life is just as hard as our life. Yep. Oh, I and couldn't. I take my hat off to I my wife. Do it. Yeah, all no, the time, I've said man. that to like to looking my after wife kids many a is time. Hard work. Yep. And um, I take my hat off to you, Jess, if yep. you're watching. You yep. Do a really good job. And thank you, freaking thank you, guys, for looking out for us. You know, like I appreciate it. I yeah. freaking appreciate it. So. Yeah. I again. 
camera check. Yeah, why don't you try his pork sauce? Try sausage. Try sausage. I've never had a pork sauce. Um, this hot jazz? Oh. <laughs> Leave it on there. Yeah. Try it. This one? Yep. Oh, it's ready to go, eh? Look at that. Oh, I approve. That's beautiful. Uncle Steve would be proud of that one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it yet? No, I haven't, eh? I haven't tried it yet. And, and that is exactly what I mean. I fucking tried it yet. <laughs> Check the camera, she's all sweet. Sometimes it just turns off. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. If you if you if you are new here, you'll realise. Go go a couple of videos back, you'll see. Okay. That steak's ready. The pork belly is not far from being done. And you're just toasting up your tortillas. Absolutely beautiful. Smoking them. Next question is very controversial and I reckon it will piss some people off, but I reckon it needs to be talked about. Social media in this game, or social media in general. It's, Thoughts? It's, Thoughts? It's not going to piss me off too much because I'm not heavily involved in social media. That's, um, why, that's why he's so pure and he's so not, <laughs> he's so good. No, it's, yeah, it, yeah, honestly, for, for me, my comment on social media is that I think probably the the combined screen time between the four of us this weekend, you know, you, you usually oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're at work or whatever, and you're you're on social media or whenever you you have a spare chance, you're jumping on Facebook or whatever. Yep. Hardly any reception out here, so combined we've probably had fucking less than ten minutes um, on social media between us. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah you're and, disconnected. And how good do you feel? Not, yeah, not, yeah. not jumping on it and, and, and shit. Just, you just took it a lot deeper than I thought. That's yeah, that's yeah, you know, that, yeah. Well, that's how, how good I, do you feel? That's how I took the question because wow. that's shit. how I feel with social media is like you, you use it every now and then to catch up with, um, yeah, your friends and family or whatever's going on or see what's going on. But when you're out here, you don't really, um, not that you don't care about your friends and family, but it's not, um, not the top of your priority. You're, you're focused on what's going on in front of you. Um, you're present with the moment, and you're just enjoying life as it is. And you're not even worried about having no reception. You know? Shit, that is spot on. No, <laughs> damn, I didn't know you'd answer that so well. <laughs> My answer's going to look real bogan. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you could mate. be a preacher, eh? No, like you know, spot like, on. How he's been yeah. talking all night. You're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, how he's been talking like, all night, it's like, like what a tosser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, no, you've nailed oh, it though. I'm, I'm going to get straight smashed up with on you. social media. No, nah, not at all. You're too good looking. Go on, Lucky. I'm not very Don't big. forget, this needs to be raw. So you, yeah. I, I, yeah, I have a few I'm opinions, but I don't this, think it's going to hurt. I'm going to answer this very truthfully. Yep. Um, I don't like social media. Yep. I find a lot of people are too busy comparing themselves to other people. Yep, spot on. And forgetting about what you actually have. Yeah. And enjoy every moment and cherish every moment that you guys do, whether it's camping or a hobby that you love. Yep. If you you know, if you want to take photos and film, you do it for passion. You don't do it for views and likes and everything else. Yep. People are either going to like you or they're not going to like you. I just think, yeah, personally, just go out, have a good time with your mates, family, friends, and just enjoy it and take it in. Yep. Obviously, you can post photos and, um, nice. shit. obviously, you can post photos and show everyone that, you know, this is what you're doing and having a good time, and, but, um, yeah. At the end of the day, just just enjoy life mm. and live your life. Yep. Like every day is your last because to me a lot of yeah, a lot of people get upset with a silly comment that people say about your there's always gonna be that one person. Mm. And they they're just jealous. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they're jealous of what you're doing. But you gotta remember how hard you worked. And everything else to do what you do. You've got the big bit too. Yeah, and, yeah, spot um, on. You know, God, there's yeah. plenty there. It, Cheers, it doesn't get given to you on a platter, bro. Yeah, yeah, well said. Mm. 
and I, I do, it does have its um, pros as well. So I've met a lot of people through social media. Ah, well done. Yeah, um, well said. Yeah, likewise. And my wife, yeah, my wife loves it, and that's how I met Pete originally through yep, social media. Exactly. So, yeah, shit on. Chess? Oh, honestly, I don't have much to do with it, mate. Like just said, um, I literally got it for yeah, family, friends. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, you Market always have to been. buy tinnies for trips like this. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Um... Oh, and Snapchat. Yeah, I had. Oh, sorry, Snap Pat. <laughs> Snap Pat. Snap yeah. Tap. <laughs> you got to know how good a time we'll have with that. Nah. No. <laughs> nah, I don't. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to do with it, mate. Um, yeah. Sort of just yeah, stick to ourselves and yeah. That's why you yeah, that's good. That's why you're pure. My thoughts on it are pretty much the same as you. There's a lot of bullshit. A lot of bullshit that you've got to wade through. Like, I hate it. I hate... I would rather come out on a weekend like this and spend all my time filming yeah. rather than put a post up a week trying to come up with why I love a product or love... There's a lot of fluff bullshit going on. That's my, that's my opinion. But there are a lot of good stuff going on. There's a lot of people out there trying to do it for good, but it's there's a lot of bullshit out there. Yeah. That's my main opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it, it can annoy you at times. It can really dig at you if you let it, because it's like people are painting their lives to be yeah. unreal. Yeah, you get a false yeah. idea of what's actually going on. You yeah, get, definitely. You, you get a picture, don't you? You get a picture of, well, that... They're, they're an amazing couple or whatever. Look at what they're doing. Or, yeah, you know, they don't have but struggles. They don't see what happens behind that no, camera. No, of course not. Know? But yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty touchy subject because it, there's a lot of people that are on there, but there's a lot of fluff going on and a lot of like promoting of bullshit. Like, geez, I've promoted shit. Absolutely, I have. Try that, but thanks, mate. Man. It's hard to promote something without being trusted. I reckon it all comes down to whether you trust that person that you're looking at. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, common sense. I don't know, but it, I don't know. There's a lot of you can let it get to your brain. I reckon. You know what I mean? I think it's especially scary. What are they like? Mm. They're, they're, they're delicious. They good? Have they got maple they're syrup? Really nice. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll... They taste maple. I don't know. I've been oh, having yep, a lot. There's of... a sweetness there. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dude. That tastes like Not a maple, a flavor, maple glaze or something on them, but that. Yeah, I think you're spot on. Mm. Mm. I don't know. No, it's it was a hard, I, 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 I just think, wanted to bring it up and. I think that topic is especially hard hitting for all of us Everyone. Now because um, we all have young families mm -hmm. and we were all born into Thanks, um, a world without social media. And it's a new, exactly. newly acquired yep. thing. Whereas that's, mm -hmm. a, that's all that our young families are going to know. Our kids are going to know. And um, yeah, it just brings up a false representation of the world around them. What, what Spot on. you know, they're going to see these things on social media and go, okay, that's uh, that's what that's my the life, norm. That's, yep. that's the normal. That's what my life should be like. Yeah. And um, it's yeah, it's just not accurate. No, it's not. No, it can be. Mm -hmm. But. Um, that's yeah. what I was saying before. Like mm. we go out on a lads trip, like we have, and oh, Pete, oh, thanks, mate. Pete's been oh. filming all day, and to be honest with you, I haven't really noticed much of it. Mm. And we still managed mm. to have a really good day, eh? I was, oh, yeah. for sure. I like, was so surprised at the. I've obviously watched your videos and seen the mm -hmm. <laughs> seen the the final product. Haven't been a part of one of the camp trips yet, so I was so surprised that I honestly thought you'd be filming. 24 7 to put those videos together but you hardly even notice it no nah, that's good yeah. that's what yeah. i want that's why I'm, I'm excited to see the final product oh, all together man. cheers buddy you're a legend and these I'm... are so freaking fresh eh? that's <laughs> no, hot in my hand i want to wait i don't want to but i want to wait for, <laughs> are we all gonna have a bite at the same yeah, time yeah for sure mm, mate yeah. for sure this is the bites part right here mm. Mm. pork belly wraps eh? pork belly wraps Everything he's cooked tonight and last night has just been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks, Apparently, mate. bare essentials means <laughs> fed every bloke three times over. Hey, mate? Well, I haven't cooked anything out of my esky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know our background. 
done well, Jazz. I want him to take the first bite, eh? Yeah, let's yeah, make because he never does. No, nah, oh, exactly. Let's, 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 let's make, make him first like, time for everything. He doesn't take oh, first bite. You'll definitely get a raw opinion out of me. Don't be too harsh on yourself. It's not the only raw thing you'll get out of me. <laughs> oh come on mate, this is getting cold. Yeah, I'm getting cold. <laughs> Keep my hands warm though. <laughs> hey, Fucking Jazz. Great. <laughs> Thank you mate. Thanks mate. Uh, cheers boy. Let's get into it boys. Cheers, cheers guys. guys. Oh you f you right here. <laughs> nice Jazz. Nice. Well done mate. Plenty of pork there? Yeah, hey. Plenty of rats? Yeah. We'll go again. Not having eight of these. Got eight more of these for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. The wraps mm. make it eight. I couldn't even see the coleslaw in there, but I can fucking say that's delicious. Oh, oh my god. god. Mm. That, Damn, guys, that was awesome. Oh, just quickly, can you tell us, like, <laughs> tell us the recipe real quick, like what, mm. how you made them? Pork belly from Rob's. Pork belly bites. Marinated. Pre-marinated. Uh, the wraps from IGA. Second app, yep. Coleslaw from Coles. And coleslaw dressing mixed mm -hmm. up. I haven't tried it before, but yeah, something different. Pork belly. It's like oven roasted, that is. Yeah. Just until you like it, I guess. Pretty well. I didn't do it like super crispy or anything. Mm. But yeah. What was it over the fire? What, like 20 minutes? 25 mm. minutes? I'm going to say 20. Yeah. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> when the video goes quiet, <laughs> the episode's done. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. And thank you, boys. And thank you, Pete, for the invite. Cheers, mate. Cheers, guys. My baby in front of Chicago